Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Sunray coming at you guys with a prophetic word from the womb of the Lord. Y'all see the womb? I'm in the womb. I'm I'm chilling. All right. I don't know why, but if you ever anxious or something, just take a hoodie, put it on and go like this or put a blanket over your head. I promise you, you'll feel so much better. Okay. Cover your head. All right. <laughs> But God is returning people back to your lives, all right? He is returning people back to your lives. These are people that the Lord has ordained to be in your life or that he has um, more so given the okay to for these people to come back into your lives. It's a purpose. For some, it's an assignment. For some, it's just a restoration of lost relationships. Whichever it is for you, just make sure that before you begin to spill your whole guts out, that you understand what the assignment is. You go to God and you seek his spirit and you say, you seek the Holy Spirit and you say, Holy Spirit, what is the assignment here? Why is this person coming back in? How am I supposed to navigate this? Okay, all your instructions, all of your leadings will be given through his spirit. But another thing God wanted me to also point out, because he had me release this word last Monday um, during the event that me and my sister Sika did is that you are clean now. Okay. You are clean now. You are consecrated unto the Lord. Okay. And so that wilderness season, that wilderness period of your life and the trials and things that he had you go through alone, or maybe with some people and this is that and the third, it was to strengthen you and it was to consecrate you unto the Lord, like how he did with the Israelites. He set them apart for himself. And um, how God kind of described this to me is like soap. Now, I, it made me think of this meme where it was like thoughts that you have when you're high. And it was like, when you drop the soap on the floor, is the soap now dirty and the floor is clean? And it was so funny because I used to look at that back then. And I really be thinking like, yo, what? Mind equals blown, but soap is soap. No matter what soap encounters, the soap itself could never be dirty. Only the thing that the soap is touching that was once dirty has now become clean. And that's what God wants you to know is that he is using you as a beacon of light in these relationships, these friendships, whatever it is, to draw people not close to you necessarily, but closer to him because you have been renewed and now it's time for you to be restored. The renewal is the healing, the closing up of wounds, the release releasing forgiveness but the restoration is where God brings in the replacement so either he brings people back in from your past or he brings in new people so um how do I say it restoration is not you just being healed like oh the Lord healed me from this from a bad relationship and I thought this man was my husband no restoration is God is still going to give you a husband that is going to love you that is this because restoration is like a replacement for what was lost yeah you heal from it but you still have never experienced true love you still have never experienced having friends that actually love you and care for you and pour into you and don't just take from you so god is restoring in some in some cases though restoration is a return of people he had me speak about this with the word about the year 5783 that this is the year of the return. So not only are things that were supposed to be yours being returned back to you, but even people, okay? And so um just wanted to release this word to you guys. And yeah, be obedient. If y'all missed the session, it's okay. We'll be doing another one um, within the next month or so. Just make sure you guys pay attention um, to when we post it because we post it when the Lord tells us to. So I'm super excited for you guys to hear this word. Um, and I pray that it serves as confirmation for people. And I just want to give you guys one instruction that as God returns people back in your life, make sure you understand the assignment and that you aren't um, making um, the same mistakes that you probably did in the past where you just went ahead and did things and you didn't seek the understanding for the assignment because you're a different person now and you're closer to God. And so because you're closer to God, he will reveal to you exactly what it is that he needs you to do. Okay. Um, I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.